Hi everyone, I'm Marina Goncharenko, a realtor in Florida, and today I'm going to give you a tour of Miami, the magic city. Miami has been a very influential city in the world for a very long time. Its rise to the top has been catapulted as it's becoming a major leader from Wall Street to entertainment. Many companies have moved their headquarters here and construction is not slowing down. According to a study in 2018, Miami was ranked as the second richest city in the United States and the third richest city globally in purchasing power. Today we will take a tour and see what makes Miami so magical. We will start downtown. Downtown is a very lively place. Most of the buildings are new with a mix of business, hotels, and residential buildings. Right in the middle of downtown is the Miami River, which flows from the Everglades into Biscayne Bay. South of the river is Brickell, one of the largest financial districts in the United States. In recent years, construction of residential and mixed-use towers have reshaped this area into a walk-in friendly neighborhood with some of the best high-end dining and shopping. Brickell Ave is very reminiscent of Manhattan and Wall Street. The only distinction at times are the palm trees that remind us of our tropical surroundings. This area has beautiful views of Biscayne Bay, Virginia Key, and to the northeast, Dodge and Fisher Islands. The southern part of Brickell shifts to a residential neighborhood with only a few condominiums along the bay. North of the Miami River, we have the Government, Historic, and Entertainment District. Along Biscayne Bay is Bayfront Park. A 32-acre park with a playground, an amphitheater, which hosts all sorts of concerts and events like the New Year's Eve ball drop. Outside is the Sky View Observation Ferris Wheel to further enjoy these iconic 360-degree views. Here we have the Bayside Marketplace, a two-story open-air shopping center with restaurants. Just north of Bayside Marketplace, we have the Kaseya Center, home of the Miami Heat basketball team, and a host of many world-renowned events throughout the year. North of the arena is another park with a science and art museum. 
The concert hall and opera house are also located here, filling the evenings with excitement. Across the road is Park West, a residential neighborhood with many beautiful buildings front and center. The growth is not stopping here or anytime soon. North of Park West is Edgewater, another bayfront community full of luxury apartments and condominiums, the tallest being 57 stories. Biscayne Bay is more than two and a half miles wide. At the south end across downtown is Port Miami on Dodge Island. The south side of the island is an industrial port and the north side is a terminal for different cruise liners. This is the busiest cruise port in the world with many of the companies headquartered here. North of Port Miami is the MacArthur Causeway. This road connects us to several island neighborhoods and Miami Beach. On the other side of the bridge, we have a small island full of recreation. Further east, we have residential man-made islands with some of the most extravagant and exclusive homes in Miami. The first two are Palm and Hibiscus Islands. North of them are the Venetian Islands. The famous Star Island is located further east and these homes are right in the middle between downtown and South Beach. They are gated and have incredible views of the skyline. This combination gives us some of the most expensive real estate in the country. Fisher Island is another exclusive world-class community. There is no road or bridge access. You can only access it by boat, helicopter, or a ferry. It's a 216-acre island with a golf course, private beach, tennis, and racquetball courts, and seven restaurants. Real estate ranges from two to over 40 million. There are residents from more than 40 different countries and 30% live on the island year round. They even have a medical clinic and a pre-K through eighth grade school on the island. Across the channel is Miami Beach. Miami Beach is a barrier island, about 10 miles long. It's broken up into three areas. The southern two and a half miles of the island is the famous South Beach. At the south end of the island, we have several large condominiums. Here we have the South Point Park, a family-friendly park with areas to soak in the surroundings. Running along the beach is the famous Ocean Drive. This area is full of Art Deco architecture that matches the vibrance of the surroundings. There are many famous boutique hotels and restaurants. Across the road is a large park. It's perfect for those who are active. It has volleyball courts, a couple of muscle beaches, playgrounds, and room to stroll around. Collins Ave and Washington Ave run parallel to Ocean Drive and offer many dining and shopping options. Miami hosts so many events that attract visitors from around the world. It is perfect for hosting visitors in their mega yachts, many bigger than the football field. As the sun begins to set, the city starts to light up as colorful as the day.
There are so many outdoor dining options that give you a ringside view of the scene and let you be immersed in the energy. In South Beach, there are many apartments and only a handful of homes. The taller condominiums are located along Biscayne Bay with views of downtown Miami and the islands. Another big attraction here is Lincoln Road. It is an open-air pedestrian mall that is considered a premier shopping destination. North of Dade Boulevard is Mid Beach. Here we have a very interesting dynamic. Along the shore, we have a lot of newer five-star hotels and condominiums. Water separates this area from the residential homes that make up the Bayside Islands. There are two golf courses here the Miami Beach Golf Club, and further north, La Gorse Country Club. There are many waterfront homes and the area is a lot more green, very laid back in a quiet neighborhood feel. North Beach has a similar setup. The area is more low-key and very residential, with plenty of green spaces. There is another golf course here and direct access to the mainland. The northern tip of the island is made up of Ball Harbor and Surfside. On the bay is Indian Creek Country Club, also known as Billionaire Bunker. This is another island community recognized as one of the wealthiest, most private communities in the world. There are no more than 40 homes on large lots that some get to call home. Ball Harbor is also full of very luxurious resorts and condominiums on the beach. Miami downtown is only 13 miles away, so we're still very well connected. Further north is Sunny Isles Beach, two and a half miles long with a collection of some of the most luxurious and tallest condominiums on the shore. The area is very rich in culture, with nicknames like Little Moscow for the number of Eastern European residents that live here. Most of the buildings are built to the height restriction of 650 feet. The views are one of a kind and the designs are very creative and diverse. The Porsche design tower is here and it has features like a car elevator that brings your car up to your floor. This seems like the recipe for making a future billionaire row. Sunny Isles is pretty narrow. Collins Ave is the main road. All along the road, there are shopping plazas full of restaurants and delis. There are several more big projects underway that will add to the appeal of Sunny Isles. North of Sunny Isles is another very desirable area, Golden Beach. There are no high rises permitted here, and the area is made up of luxury homes on the shore and bay. North of Golden Beach is Hollywood Beach, and further, Fort Lauderdale. West of Sunny Isles and Golden Beach on the mainland is Aventura, most famous for having the third largest mall in America. Here we are 17 miles north of downtown. Six miles south of downtown is the University of Miami. 
a large staple in the city. Just north of the university is the famous Miami Biltmore Hotel and Country Club. This area is Coral Gables, just five miles southwest of downtown Miami. Coral Gables is a Mediterranean-themed plant community with rich character and many historic landmarks. The Venetian Pool is one of the unique attractions here. A historic pool that opened almost 100 years ago in 1924 and is the largest freshwater pool in the United States. East of Coral Gables is Coconut Grove. The Grove is the oldest continually inhabited neighborhood in Miami. It runs along Biscayne Bay. It's also known as being one of the most green neighborhoods with a very tropical feel and a low-key lifestyle. In the middle is Dinner Key, a marina complex very popular among boaters. There are many parks and green spaces and it has a very upscale and charming downtown. The famous Vizcaya Museum and Gardens are located here, one of Miami's gems. Between Brickle and Coconut Grove, just off the coast, is another famous area Key Biscayne. Across the bridge is Virginia Key, a recreational island. Further south is Crandon Beach and Park. It's an 800-acre park with parking for over 3,000 vehicles and a place where you can escape to relax and unwind. On the other side of the road is the Tennis Center, which hosted the Miami Open for over 30 years. Next to it is the Crandon Golf Course. On the south side of the island is another state park, most famous for the Cape Florida Lighthouse, a very picturesque spot. There are many hidden gems like the No Name Harbor with the Boaters Grill restaurant. In the middle of these parks is Key Biscayne. Right in the center runs the main road with boutique shops, restaurants, and essentials all located here. The east side of the island is full of condominiums and resorts. Everywhere here feels a lot more laid back, like true island time. The west side is made up of beautiful homes with not one street neglected, giving it one big neighborhood feel.
There are many other unique neighborhoods around Miami. East of downtown Miami is Little Havana, Miami's vibrant Cuban heart. It's full of Latin American art, busy restaurants, and locals playing dominoes at Domino Park. On the north side of downtown west of Edgewater, we have Wynwood, a very unique art district that is transforming this area. The area is very colorful with no building left untouched. Sixteen miles north of downtown, we have the Hard Rock Stadium, home to the Miami Dolphins, and a host of all sorts of events like the Formula One Grand Prix. I hope this gave you a really good idea of what the Magic City has to offer. If you would like my help with any of your real estate needs, my contact information will be down in the description below.